Where do I think it comes from? Like it's made? Um, I don't know, the government? Money comes from uh, paper. I believe it comes from trees. <laughs> in, the, in the long run, I think it comes from trees. No, I believe money... I actually, I'm not 100% sure. Well, I, I'm not certain. That's a trick question. Why? Well, it's a, that's, a, that's actually an interesting question. The First of all, money is... Uh, Prior to money, it's going to sound like a long answer, but I'm, I'm not quite sure I know the nature of your question, but let me see how I can handle it. Prior, thank you. Prior to, uh, prior to money, essentially, trade... Um, it's actually simple. Over 95% of our money is created by private banks. <laughs> That means there's less than 5% of government-created money. Let's look at the differences between creating the money ourselves and borrowing it from private banks. Creating the money ourselves pretty much just costs the labor to print it and the hard work to back it up. While borrowing money from private banks can cost up to 10 times or more than the principal before it's paid. Don't believe me? I think that the problem isn't necessarily, in my opinion, um, that we uh, that we issued that debt um, through uh, through a competitive bond process. Um, the issue is that the, uh, the the level of spending that we engaged in uh, was not appropriate, uh, and we got into a situation where we we spent too much. This is Canada's federal debt. From 1867 to 1992, we owed 423 billion dollars. However, 91 percent of this debt is the result of interest on interest. And only 8% of the money was actually used on real things, like goods and services. But now we have to pay back over 10 times what we needed, simply because we borrowed from private banks instead of ourselves. So where do these private banks get their billions of dollars from that they lend out? Nowhere! They just write down a number on a piece of paper and lend it out as if it was money to families trying to put a roof over their heads, students trying to get an education, or governments looking to improve the country. Banks then get paid multiple times back with your hard work. Every time they issue a loan, they are creating brand new money. It never existed before you walked into the bank. So pretty much like you say, I go into a bank, they buy, they, I, I say, you know, well, can I have like uh, $10,000 paid for my college? I said, sure, you here, go. let me just go run this off the machine, and then you can pay us back with your hard-earned money. Right. That's exactly well, it. That, that's pretty crazy. They just get you to believe that they're lending you what's inside their vaults. But it couldn't be further from the truth. For instance, banks. Yeah, your banks have the amount of money that they have in reserve. The answer is no. There's about $50 billion of real cash in Canada. All the private banks combined only have $4 billion in their vaults, or what they call reserves. And yet they've lent out $1.5 trillion, which they then charge interest on. I think that the, the amount of money that's held in reserve um, in Canada, um, you're right, is pretty low. Uh, one of the reasons it's so low is because our, our banking system is as stable as it is. Um, okay... So what would happen if we simply wanted our money back? We would have a credit crisis in the end, and the system would, would not be sustainable. So we'd have to reorganize and restructure, which is what happened, actually, in the Depression. Um, I don't see that happening again. Yeah. <laughs> but theoretically, that's what would happen. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that sounds like a stable system. So isn't it a little bit fraudulent though if I were to walk into a bank and they give me a receipt that's I can redeem at any time but it's only noticed that it, it, it would be called fraud if everyone came to the bank and requested their money oh, I'm going to answer your question but then I want to go back to mine okay, because, okay. because you're, it really is this is the huge change okay. of the last five years it's not fraudulent it's not fraudulent um, 
because everybody understands it. But it is not. Not no one really understands it. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, those who want, those who th those who know about it, it knew about it, so it was not fraudulent. I I I talked to the like teachers and, and, and MPs even and MPPs, and they, they had no idea that uh, that there was only four billion dollars in the vaults, but over a trillion dollars was lent out. Yeah, okay, so let me go back. Well, the fact that they didn't know it. They should have. I mean, but no, but but really, no one does. Well, they quit, I, should should that be involved a little bit more before we start using money? That we should be told where it is, where it comes from. Well, no. Okay, so it's one thing to lend out money you just don't have, but how can you charge interest on nothing, and not just any kind of interest? Compound interest.